All right, so good morning and uh, welcome to week three with your crazy and flippin' teacher. Um, so this week we've got a quick week and then you get a long weekend to go. So what we're gonna do is I already put up a WSQ05. So if you take a look at either your page for TC1014, you should be looking at WSQs uh, for your group or WSQs for the other group. I'll just go and take a look at this one because they're the same basically. If we take a look at number five, which is temperature, it's a pretty simple extension of what you've already done. Let's write a program that will prompt the user for a temperature in Fahrenheit, which is what they use in, in Gringolandia, and then convert that to Celsius. Um, remember, here's the formula. You should modify the program to say, uh, at this temperature, water either freezes or is liquid or is solid and such, and, and then play around and uh, see how it works for you. Um, you'll notice I have a Creative Commons licensed photo here. You should be doing the same, and it actually links to the original for the photo. Um, what to submit? Again, uh, submit your questions, what you think uh, uh, were problems for you, any resources you looked at. You can look at our book, go ahead, or of course you don't have to use our book. You can use um, lynda.com with the videos they have there. You can use the books they have in the library if you prefer in Espanol. Um, whatever you want to do, tag your blog post WSQ05 since that's this assignment. And uh, for those uh, that are using multiple blogs, you know what to do there. You can put your stuff on GitHub, you can put your stuff on uh, Dropbox or Google and link to your actual code if you want, or just drop your code right in there and let people look at what you're doing. Uh, that's it for that. Um, I wanted to mention as well, we've got uh, in the Python group, we have 200 posts from 42 students so, so far in two weeks. That's pretty awesome. Uh, TC1017, the C++ group, 216 posts, so I, I guess they're winning. So go Python to catch up. Uh, oh, this week as well, the plan will be Thursday or Friday to do a quiz. I hope to do an, a quiz which is a simulation of our exam environment. If I have the USB keys ready to go, I'm going to bring them to class. Uh, they look like this. And they boot up your uh, machines in the lab and you're in my little restricted Linux setup with Python and C++ development so that you can hack on code. I'll give you some quiz questions of actual uh, writing code similar to this one. and then. Uh, it's, it's not so much to see where you are, although that's useful for you. It's more to give you the comfort uh, of what the exam environment is So in a low stakes situation so that when you're actually in the exam, which is a high stakes situation, you'll be uh, more comfortable. So hopefully we'll do that the next couple weeks and uh, get you all set. Uh, Python group, get on top of things because uh, in the C++ group as well for Mondays because there'll be no class on Monday. I'll give you all the day off for the holiday. Uh, but the Tuesday group will get an extra day in. Make sure you stay on top of things. Exams are on the corner. Have an awesome week.